Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Sage. What is up? Topic of this video is going to be Wardens. And how Wardens have single-handedly destroyed this game. Now, looking at this forgotten or this whatever this challenge of Warden thing, I can only get to the third level. Most of the guys I know can only get to the third level. Looking at the leaderboard, the top players in the game with that spend the most money can only get to the fifth level. There's ten levels to this uh warden thing. This challenge of warden. And we can only get to the fifth level if you're lucky. Why is that? Why is that? Well, one of the reasons is that you have to pick the subdued team, right? You form a team. You have to pick among these sorry heroes that have no synergy. They should have no business being on the same teams, okay? These teams don't work. And you can see that painfully when you do this challenge of warden. Okay, there's no customization among the teams that you pick anymore because they're going to pick the team for you and you have to choose your heroes. And to make it worse, if you don't have those heroes, you're out of luck. If you don't have a gunslinger, if you don't have a Azura, a Sur Ashura, then you're not going to have that option show up and you're going to have to pick amongst these other team members that you don't want to pick. So that's a problem. And why is that a problem? That's what I want to talk about today. Also, you know, this warden thing is just, it's funny if you're looking at the top rewards, you know, if the season ended today, you'll get one uh, level nine rune one and you'll get, um, I don't know, some igniting stones, stuff that you can buy off the bazaar for $10 and you're playing this, uh, you'll never get, You'll never be able to really be free to play with this uh, system that they got in place because you can just buy it off the bazaar. But that's another topic. I'm just kind of ranting on that. Let me just get into it, man. Back in the day, back in the day, this is the subject of my topic. When I first started playing this game back in the day, I used to think that you just build a strong team of heroes and... You drop your finger, you place your finger, and then you just watch them do the thing. And you really had no input or no say as to what happened. And it was all algorithms that determined if you won or not. But I quickly realized that that's not how this game works. That's not how this game works. The way this game works is that you have to build teams that have a synergy. You got to have certain elements going on with each hero that work together they got to combine these these elements together and then you can beat these game modes you can't just beat hbm and dungeon just by having some random heroes on there that are strong you know back in the day we had pumpkin duke who gave you your attack speed druid gave you your heals or Gulam gave you your heals cupid would give you your damage increase or damage boost you would have a tank you'd have a sniper you had air all these elements coming together and you would win. And you could almost win any game mode that IGG threw out there because you had a choice in who you put out there against those uh, bosses or, or, or demons or whatever or whatever else game mode you were trying to win. And you would play it. And if you said, okay, these heroes aren't strong enough, you had your artifacts. You could put some heroes on Axe so you can do extra damage. You could put heroes on Victors so that they could survive longer. You could put, you know, a hero on Blitz so he doesn't get stunned. You you had the customization. You could do that with any hero you wanted, and you would always be able to figure out a way to beat these game modes. You can't do that in today with these Wardens. With the Wardens, it's all about placing your heroes, dropping them with your finger, and then just watching them all get one shot. Now, all you can do in today's castle clash is change your talents your crest or your traits and that's it and that's expensive no one's going to do that that's too expensive to do for every game mode that you're trying to play wardens cause more damage than good if you think about it you know the way they're poorly implemented they their procs are synced together they auto proc 
So if you got a, if you're going against a stronger warden than your team, they're gonna wipe you out when they auto proc. So every time you proc, they proc, or every time you go, your warden procs, their warden procs, the stronger warden's gonna beat your team. No matter what type of team you have out there, you're gonna lose. No matter what subdue you have out there, you're gonna lose because of the auto proc, because it does too much damage to you. This is a problem. This ruins the game. This game is about fun. It's about customization. It's about picking the heroes you want. It's about figuring out what that synergy is. That's what all the strategy in this game was about. That's why everybody made these strategy videos. Okay? They would say, okay, look, this is what works for me. This is how I pick this. This is how I choose this team. This is, this is some of the math involved on how this could be successful. That's gone. That 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 whole part of this game has been gone forever. Okay, now it's about subdues. It's about it's about being overpowered. It's about not having any choice of what's going to happen or any decision making. And that was why I stopped playing this game. I played maybe ten percent of what I used to play, and that's the problem. The game modes, as a lot of people have pointed out don't give you any resources to build your heroes if you're free to play you're screwed and even as a pay-to-play player i stopped buying in the bazaar because they keep coming out every month with a new ceiling okay two or three months ago there was no breakthrough now if you want to have strong heroes you got to have igniting stones you got to have zenith stones there's a ceiling that you got to get to that you got to keep buying more resources or playing these game modes that won't give you resources all of this is just destroying this game. And if I have to take it all back to one event that caused this snowball effect, it would have to be the implementation, implementation of these wardens. That's all I have to say. I'm not going to keep talking. Look, IGG, please look at the big picture. Look at what's going on. Look at what's going on. I got to sweat. I'm losing my... I'm out. I have nothing more to say. Bye. See you guys later. Peace.